Now for cleanup, uh, if you have your model imported, you have your vertex colors on it, we'll move to this step. We need to clean out some of the parts of the mesh that we actually don't need to use. Or if in the case, if you imported yourself, we need to go and rename the materials so that we actually know what we're working with. Uh, I'm going to work on the body for right now, so I will hide the head. And we're just going to start. The materials on the characters consist of only a few things, but there's duplicate materials of them. There's the base texture, the shadow, uh, the shadow mesh to control shadows, the decal, the damage, and the outline. Uh, there are also some things for the detail textures, but that's handled completely separately. We're going to ignore that for right now. Um, we're, right now, we're just going to go through and find out which parts of the mesh are for which material. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to edit mode, deselect everything so we can go through. Uh, through experience, I know that usually the first ones are going to be the base texture. So I'm going to first name the first one just base. And if we select it, you can see we pull it away. And that's look that's the right thing for the base, uh, but it doesn't pull probably everything because we need to get rid of stuff, especially the shadow. Uh, the second one I know is usually also the base. So after we have it selected, let me go back to base and hit assign. And it didn't delete this one, but it now has nothing on it. Uh, we'll go on to two. This is also still part of the base. It is not the shadow, so we'll assign that. Go to the next one. And that is the outline. Okay, so the outline is when you start seeing the things that we need to be deleting. This little cube right here is part of the outline material. We're actually just going to delete that and completely get rid of it. So then I'm, just so I know where I'm working from, I'm going to rename that back to outline. Next, we have usually the shadows. Yep, it is this low poly shadow mesh that they use to calculate the shadows in the normal directions. We're going to delete that. Next one is also usually it. We'll delete that as well. And then, knowing from experience, the next one is usually the decal. Yep, yeah, that is the decal textures all over the body. So we can call that decal, unselect. Next one is usually damage. Yep, and call that damage. And some characters have a, or actually most characters, I should say, have a secondary damage. Uh, which would be here on the legs, and we could just assign that back to damage as well. And then we have ooh, a third damage on this character. And finally, the last one is these frays along the body. Uh, this uses the base material, uh, but if you don't want to have the frays, or if you want to separate them to be able to turn them on and off, you'd name them uh, like frayed base something similar uh, my experience i actually like the look of the frayed clothing so i just assign that on the base uh after we've done that we actually only have the things that we want so to double check we can go ahead hit base select and then we press h to hide everything we don't have anything on outline since we deleted it go to decal select hit h to hide it as well damage select hide that after we've done that, unless you have a frayed base, there should be nothing left in the view space. Okay, everything looks good. So we will hit Alt H to unhide everything. And then go into object mode. And we can delete these materials that we no longer use, including the outline. We only want base, decal, damage, and if you had frayed base, frayed base. Uh, if you notice, though, there are still things inside of here, which actually we can get rid of. I will go over that later on after we've completed the head as well, how to clean up your materials. I'm going to hide that, and next we need to go into the head. So the head is entirely identical unless a character has something similar to how Soul Bad Guy has these bits in front of his eyes, which are actually part of a mesh, which we can actually separate off and give it its own material. Uh, but we're going to go into edit mode, deselect everything. First one I know is base, but it uses the exact same texture as the normal base does on the body. So we're actually going to hit this and just assign it to base, so we know, so we have that to work with. Can you see? That is that part of it. Uh, once again, this has multiple base base uh, meshes. We're just going to go and select them and hit assign. So 
outside. And then nothing selected, which means the outline. Yep, we're going to delete that. This would be the decal. So we will do the same thing before. We will find the existing decal because they share the same material. And then we have a damage. Find damage. And then this one was also going to be damage. So we will select it and then assign it to the existing damage material. And then back in the object mode, we can do some cleanup for this. And we have a cleaned up thing. But we're going to actually, for Soul Bad Guy specifically, we're going to remove the bits in front of his eyes. Uh, if I, I'm going to quickly, if you just give me one moment, shader editor, I'm going to quickly just give it a texture so I can actually see the part of the mesh. Give me one moment to get the texture. Sorry, I should have had this pulled up. I know that it uses the base texture. And then I change my viewport to use texture. Oh, I assigned it to the wrong one. Silly me. I'm going to delete that and go back to this one. And there we go. And then it's, if it's invisible like this, it's really easy. Drag it over the thing, change it to texture image editor. There we go. Hit the drop down and find your existing texture that you brought in. You can see it's alpha there. Drag this thing over or use the N, go down to image. Yeah, I'll drag this up so it's easier to see. And we will change alpha from straight to channel packed. Oops, sorry, not channel packed. Just for viewing, we'll just change it to none. Channel packed to use it for the actual shader itself, but we're just viewing it. So now I can actually see the parts of the phase that are getting hidden away. Go into edit mode and I'll have a look. I will click on this and then press control L. I will select most of it. Same thing, we're gonna shift click this one and do control L. And if you press G, you can move it away. And you see that there's still some bits of it that are hanging on. And that's good. I actually know which parts those are. I'm going to change my clipping V001 so I can actually zoom in better. Inside of his helmet or his head, there are the eyebrows. There we go. Not his, he has two sets of eyebrows, so don't worry on Soul Bad Guy. And then inside of here, there is. By the way, uh, this dolly zoom is control and then click down middle mouse button and then move your mouse up and down. It is a very, very useful. I'm just gonna go inside the head. This, it takes a little bit of work, but it's just all to make it all work. So I can see that I found the part that's connecting up. I'm going to shift click it and then control L. And then now I know, because of prior experience, that that is everything for that part. This area in front of him gets, uh, oop, I missed an eyebrow as you can see. Shift click L. Uh, this part uh, is used for when Soul is having like you know the black in front of his eyes. Um, it doesn't look black because we're just looking at the base texture. It doesn't actually have the shader on it. But after we've done that, we can actually give it a new material. Call it shaded eyes, and I'm going to. And then that's just hit assign. Uh, just for working, I am going to be done with that. So now we can see that the eyes have their own thing and if I wanted to just hide them really quick, set them and press H. Uh, th this isn't missing texture, it's part of the actual, or missing mesh, it's part of the texture. And there we go, that is cleaning up all of the materials. Next we actually need to merge the body together. Merging the body is actually really easy. Click on uh, one of them and then click on the other one and control J and then it just merge together. And I'll just for working, I'm gonna rename this to armature and keep that just as armature and oop, get out of edit mode. And then we're gonna click on the two meshes and do control J. And we have the, the basics of merging it together. Uh, we actually need to fix the armature a little bit to work with, which is, uh, a little bit of a tricky thing for new users, so you gotta pay attention very closely. So the head and the body armatures are connected, but as you can see here, they aren't actually in the right hierarchy. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do, just so we can actually work, I'm going to click on the armature in object mode, make sure in object mode, go to the object, uh, 
object window, go to viewport display, in front, and I change it to wired. This is entirely your preference, however you want it to be. You can do, I not don't do bounds, you can do solid, uh, I don't know what texture it is, but I always keep it as wired so it's easy to see through the model and know what I'm working with. I'm going to drag this down so it's easy to see. And we need to actually connect the head to the body. If we try to move it around right now. Oop, sorry, I forgot. We need to connect this to the armature. There we go. Now if we go into pose, you can see that works. But if I pose just the body's root, the head doesn't actually move. So now we're just going to fix the hierarchy. That's We're not going to be working through the view support, so you don't have to worry about uh, what you see is just a mess of bones. We're actually gonna, just going to go down in the hierarchy here. Ooh, make sure I have... Ooh, lagging. Object mode, edit mode, gotcha. Go down the hierarchy in the body. Make sure you're in edit mode like I just did. And we're going to find head attach in body AGO. So th these two are the ones we're really going to be reconnecting to after this one. So I click on head high root, control click, head attach, and then with your mouse over the 3D view, you're going to do control P and then hit keep offset. So then the bone parent is refixed. Next we're going to click on body AGO and we're going to go down lower head GAGO. And with body AGO still selected, control click AGO, control P, keep offsets. So now as we move the head around, this is now our new, you can call this just G head. This is the actual head bone now. Rotate head, the head looks good. And the neck, oh, hierarchy broke. I hate when it closes that. Go down the neck and move it. Everything looks good. And that's how you reconnect the actual head to the body. Next, we're gonna, I'll show you how to do the material cleanup. There are two ways to do it. One way is to just control S, save your blend file, and then reopen it back up and it will delete those materials. Uh, I've actually been saving and reloading this entire time, which is why I don't have any. The other way to do it is up in this top, you can click on this, change it to orphan data, and there will be a bunch of stuff here. Uh, but it'll say materials, and it'll have a material icon with numbers. And you hit purge, 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 hit a bunch of them, and you'll see them all go away. Uh, if it doesn't go away, or if you know there's something still there when you do the drop down, you can click on the same thing and go to Blender file. And if you go to materials, you can see the list of all your materials. And you just click on them, right click, and then you hit delete. I'm not going to delete, obviously, because I want to keep the things that are there. But that's how you would do it. Uh, there are a lot of bones over the body that actually don't do anything on some characters because they share the same skeleton. For example, Soul Bad Guy shares the same skeleton as his dragon install, so there's uh, stuff on the body that actually don't do anything. Uh, some characters have floaty blur things next to their head with bones on them as well. Uh, it's really easy to get rid of those. You would just go into edit mode on bones and then you'd select those bones and then you hit, you know, you just hit delete and delete those bones. They aren't really used for anything for that most people would ever need. They are blur lines for animations or hair extensions used in some animations. Most people will never have a use for these things, so I recommend just deleting them. Uh, then you can just go into edit mode and then you'll just like box select them and delete them. And you just get rid of them. And after you've gotten rid of that, uh, you're ready to just move on to importing the shader with my other video, which you can find a link to in the description.